Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn how we can create the Jenkins server or the Jenkins CI/CD pipeline using the bind mode. Previously in our videos, we have seen how we can uh, we can create the Jenkins container using the volume mode. We have seen it, but right now we will try to see about the bind mode. I already told you right how we can create a bind mode volume in our previous videos. Let's try to create it. So for this one, what I will try to do is first I will first I will check whether the any Docker containers are there or not. I'm checking. So right now I'm having one Docker container. So let's try to create delete this one Docker container rm f nginx hyphen container. So this is the container which I am deleting. Yeah, fine. So now in order to create a container, what we need to do? So just we need to use Docker container run hyphen d hyphen d hyphen hyphen name. So I will give Jenkins underscore container. Okay. And I will be using the uh, hyphen V mode. You can also use the hyphen hyphen mount option also. So that's not, not a problem. And here I will be giving slash Jenkins underscore data. So this is the thing and it should refer to the where slash Jenkins underscore home. That's it. And now I will be targeting hyphen P 8090 should be targeted to 8080. And the last one will be the Jenkins Sorry, Jenkins slash Jenkins colon LTS. So this is the image name. So here what I am trying to do. So here I am running Docker container run hyphen D detach mode and the name of the container I'm giving and I'm using the hyphen V. So you can you you don't think that by using this hyphen V the, that we are creating the bind mode. So here you need to understand that we are giving instead of relative path, we are giving absolute path. So I'm keeping slash at the before means. So that means I am giving the absolute path. Whenever you are trying to give an absolute path means then it is nothing but what I want. What I can say is it is an uh, bind mode. So if you are not giving that absolute path relative path, if you're trying to give it means then it is an volume mode. So then you are trying to create a volume mode. So this is the difference between these two. So you need to understand. So now here I am creating it before creating this one. What I will try to do it is so let's try to remove this one all. So this is my mistake. Let's try to log in as a root user. So I'm removing this one on. So let's log in as a, okay. So test one, two, three, four. So now this is the command I am using it. So now Docker container run. Now you will be able to understand about this one. So now Jenkins hyphen container and hyphen V and I'm using Jenkins uh, underscore home. Sorry. So this one is nothing but, uh, so here, this is the volume mode it is creating. Now here I will create slash. Okay. I will use Jenkins underscore data and Jenkins underscore home. And this is the thing. So this is the total thing which I am trying to create. So pre now this is then bind mode. Now when I press enter, the container will be created. Let's try to check the status of the container. Docker container PS hyphen A. Now you'll be able to see that it has been exited. So that means it has started. Some error has been occurred and we are not able to uh, it cannot be with her. That is the reason it has been stopped. So let's try to check the logs for this one. Docker container logs. Why it has been failed. Jenkins event container. Now it is telling that missing read write permissions on Jenkins underscore home slash where slash Jenkins underscore home. So I cannot able to write it. Cannot touch Jenkins underscore home. Something like that. It is telling wrong volume permissions. So what it is trying to do it is so here we have mapped this where slash where slash Jenkins underscore home to the Jenkins underscore data. Now that means whatever the data we are trying to write in the Jenkins underscore slash where slash Jenkins underscore home means we are indirectly writing in this Jenkins underscore data. So that means the container. So which is which are the container it is present inside the container. It is trying to write the files in, in the Docker host machine slash Jenkins underscore data. If you try to go CD slash and if you try to check this LS FNL and here you'll be able to see Jenkins underscore data and this is the folder or the directory which is present in the Docker host machine and the container inside the container of inside from inside the container. So the container is trying to write the files into this Jenkins underscore data because of the permissions issue and all those things it cannot able to write it. So what we need to do. So here the Jenkins underscore data has been created by the root. Now what we need to check it is. So who have, who is the user trying to write it from inside the container? We need to know that one. 
so we cannot able to know this one why because the container right now it is not started so it has been exited so here you will be able. so now that means you cannot log in into this container to check that who is the user trying to write the files in that slash jenkins underscore data which is present in the docker host machine so as per our experience and all those things so as per the not experience so as the standard data are the standard details so the jenkins so whenever you are trying to create a jenkins so the user who will be created will be the jenkins underscore user so that is the user which you will be trying to create i will try to show you and the user id for that one is thousand so not what we need to do now so the jenkins is the user which will be trying to create uh, which will be trying to create the files inside the container so that means the slash jenkins underscore data whichever is present so we need to assign a user id of thousand and a group id of thousand so that is the user id and group id which is present inside the container so whatever it may be that uh, so now i am telling you that inside the container inside the jenkins container the user is jenkins jenkins user but the jenkins user is not present in the docker host machine so what we need to do is the user id for that one is thousand so the same thing the user id thousand we need to assign it here so what i will try to do here so i will create i will use the command chown hyphen r and i am giving thousand so which is the user id uh, which is the user id that is nothing but present inside the container so now here whatever it may be the user so just i am trying to give the user id for this one and here that is nothing but jenkins underscore data now it has been assigned let's try to check who is the user thousand it is available so the thousand is the user that is nothing but test user in the same scenario in the jenkins inside the container you will be having jenkins user or something like that so now let's try to rerun this one so docker container start jenkins underscore container now may hopefully it should be started docker container ps hyphen a now it is up and running so that means the jenkins has been successfully running and we are now the jenkins container can able to write the files inside the slash jenkins underscore data let's try to log in and check docker container exec hyphen ti jenkins underscore container and i'll be using the bash now let's try to check who am i so who is the user that is trying to it so i told you right jenkins is the user and if you want to know the id means that is the user id is nothing but thousand so this is the uh, this is the normal thing so whenever you try to create the jenkins application and all the things so this is the default thing standards which will be followed so that that uh, thousand is the user which will be created and thousand is the user which you will be trying to create these all things so now that is the same thousand user user id we have created outside also so hope you understood about this one so inside the container the thousand is the user id who is trying to create outside in the docker host machine also the same jenkins underscore data we have assigned the same user user id now i am not going to launch uh, this one so in the chrome and i am not trying to show it so if you want to check it means so you can check it uh, 192.168.0.13 so if you try to access this one so now you'll be able to access this so i am not going on to this pressing the next 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 and all those things i am not checking it so now here you will be able to see the jenkins is working so that means we are able to successfully launch the jenkins data using the bind mount so previously we have launched it using the volume mount so here we have did it using the bind mount so this is this is this is the common problems which you will be trying to face the permissions issue and all those things when you are trying to use the bind mount so that is the reason i have ta taken this jenkins thing to show you that if you get a permissions related issues or something like that so that how we can write it smoothly i have explained you so this is what how we will be running the jenkins container using the bind mode hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you